You said to me once that being the CEO of an airline is not really great for your hairline. Uh, <laughs> well, you can tell them I haven't <laughs> got much hair there. No, it's better than me, uh, I was saying. Uh, Explain to uh, my viewers what are the multiple challenges that you think a CEO of yeah. an airline has to encounter? Well, look, there's probably 20 things I can quote, but just at a high level, first of all, you have to start from the understanding that an airline is not one business. Mm. An airline is actually a multiple group of businesses put together. For example, you have an engineering business, you have a logistics business, you have a cargo business. Uh, it's effectively a marketing business, a customer service business, and so on. Mm. Add to that the fact that it operates 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Okay. Uh, so it's all, there's no rest, right? I mean, it's yeah. always, the brand and, is and always, being is always measured. there. There's always a plane flying at some point. Yeah. So you've got Mother Nature that can interrupt you, you've got uh, geopolitical factors, you've got all the bad things that can happen around the world influence mm -hmm. airlines to some degree. Uh, it's very, yeah, it's very complex. At one stage, both you and Qantas were going neck and neck and it was, it was breakneck price competition. Mm. Have prices become sensible now? Well, I don't know what sensible is, but, but you know... I, well, they're I, better than was, they were, <laughs> I, I, I bet. Uh, look, we were trying to... Uh, uh, position ourselves in a certain way in the market mm. and, and we had to do what we did yeah. uh, and Qantas quite rightly had to defend themselves and, and that's normal. Mm. In fact, it's good for the consumer. Mm. I don't think there's another domestic, in fact, there isn't another domestic market in the world that is, uh, I think, as competitive and has the level of quality in domestic travel that we have in Australia. I mean, find me another domestic yeah. airline that's as good as Qantas or Virgin. Uh, there aren't no, any. No. Well, as um, I travel overseas, you're absolutely and, right. And uh, so I think we're lucky there. We've got quality as well as competitive pricing. Mm. Now, John, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. Uh, one is the sad news that you're eventually retiring from uh, running Virgin here in Australia. But also there's the big news that of, you know, you're, you're now flying to mm. Hong Kong. You started Melbourne first, didn't you? But you're doing it from Sydney as well now. Yeah, yeah. We started Melbourne last year. Mm. Uh, fundamentally, we'll be at Dailies out of Melbourne by um, the end of this year. Mm. And of course, today we start our first uh, Sydney Hong Kong service, which will be a daily service. It leaves in the morning, arrives just in time for you to get to the hotel in the evening and have dinner. Right. Uh, so it's uh, it's a perfect flight. Is this a part of the reflection that, and I've been reporting the staggering numbers of Chinese mm. tourists coming yeah. to Australia? Oh, look, absolutely. I mean, the biggest inbound market uh, into Australia is China. Mm. I mean, last, in the last 12 months, we've had uh, about 1.4 million, million Chinese mm. coming to Australia. Yeah. And not only in volume, but in terms of average spend per tourist, they mm. are the highest. Mm. So it's a massive opportunity for Australia. I mean, the, the input that it has to our economy and, and obviously a great opportunity for airlines. Mm. So, John, a lot of people you know, uh, we've heard that you're going to retire in uh, 2020. Um, why? Well, it's been a long, long uh, innings, as they say. You How know, long I've have been you been with Virgin? Well, uh, well, I've been in aviation 40, by then it'll be 46 years. But you started so, when you were I, five. I, I, I was three, actually. Three. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. three. Yeah. And, um, but I've been with Virgin now eight years, and yeah. by the time I step down, it'll be nine. And I think that's, that's long enough. You yeah. know, as you know, I, I, uh, the life expectancy of a CEO is much shorter than that in yeah. terms of career. Yeah. And, uh, it's like and a football coach where well, I think you, so. you've tried everything and it's, it's time for someone else to come with some new ideas. Well, you know, I came in to do a particular job mm -hmm. and uh, reposition the airline, grow it um, and so on. And mm -hmm. we've done that. I mean, the airline now is twice the size it was eight years ago. Mm -hmm. John, do you think that um, going forward, um, the airline industry is going to be an easier industry to manage, or is it going to become tougher? <laughs> no, I don't think. <laughs> With it'll you be, getting out, <laughs> no, I don't think it'll be easier. It'll remain very competitive. It'll remain very low margins. Mm. It'll remain affected by so many factors. Mm. I think the things that will change are robotics, AI, AI, AI. AI mm. uh, and avionics is just going to all come together and merge mm. to enable airlines to fly faster, uh, more economically, uh, burn less fuel. Uh, and completely different paradigm. Mm. Mm. Okay, before we wrap up, how did your working with Richard Branson affect you? Because like, you don't dress like him. Uh, You're not as cool and groovy as, well, I'd, as I'd Branson. argue I'm cooler and groovy, frankly. You're I'm, very yeah. different types of uh, business. Well, we, we, we are, we're not in a way. I mean, we might dress differently. Yeah. Um, 
and I'm proud to say, uh, but you know, we believe in competition, we believe in growth. I mean, a lot of businesses uh, are in cut mode. Mm. You know, they, they cut to achieve profits. They don't actually think about growth. Uh, so I think in some ways we are very much alike, absolutely. So when you retire from being a CEO, will you toss away the ties and be an open next year kind of guy? <laughs> Depends what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, what will you be doing? Well, that's a very good question. Um, you'll hear it first. Okay. Uh, look, honestly, I, I don't know. I know I have no plans. I've got, I'm focusing on the business now that I'm yeah. running, and uh, that'll happen in 18 months' time. I'll worry about it then. Okay. Uh, right. Thanks for joining Good us. to talk to you, Peter, and thanks again for the coffee. Great can I drink it now? You can. Yeah, great. Now. Good to <laughs> see you, mate. Cheers. Yeah.